March 12. 1470. Battle of Erpingham, in England, and defeat of the rebels under Sir Robert Wells. 1507. Tsar Borgia killed by a cannon shot before the castle of Bayano. He was the natural son of Pope Alexander VI, and by him invested with the purple. He was a man of such conduct and character that Machiavel has thought fit to propose him, in his famous book, called The Prince, as a pattern to all princes who would act the part of wise and polite tyrants. He allowed no one to stand in his way to promotion from any scruples to removing them by the foulest means. 1578. Alexander Piccolomini died. Author of dramatic and other pieces. He was the first who used the Italian language in philosophical subjects. 1581. William Fuck preached a sermon within the Tower of London in the hearing of such obstinate papists as were there imprisoned. 1612. The Third Charter of Virginia granted, by which new privileges and immunities were given for the encouragement of the colony. 1664. Charles II, of England, granted to his brother, the Duke of York, all Matawax, now Long Island, all Hudson's River, and all the lands from the west side of Connecticut River to the east side of Delaware Bay, together with the royalties and rights of government. 1676. Action between the French fleet under Duquesne, and the Spanish and Dutch fleets under de Ruyter, who was mortally wounded. 1682. Chelsea Hospital, England, founded. 1683. The first assembly of Pennsylvania was held at Philadelphia, two years from the time that Penn obtained the charter. 1697. Ludovic Muggleton, a schismatic English tailor, died. He entertained notions peculiar to himself, and damned all who differed from him. He was pilloried, and imprisoned, and his books burned by the hangmen. 1703. Aubrey de Vere died. His father was the valiant Robert de Vere, who married the daughter of a Friesland boer, named Beatrix van Hemims. He was lord of the bedchamber to Charles I, was found so passive under Cromwell, that he escaped even the fine, conformed to the manners of the court of Charles II. Went over from James II to William the Conqueror and was graceful in old age at the court of Queen Anne. He had been privy councillor to each of these sovereigns, and was hereditary Lord Chamberlain, senior knight of the Garter, and premier Earl of England. 1713. Steele commenced his paper The Guardian. 1716. Isaac Bryand was fined £2,000 by the court of Alderman, London, for marrying Miss Elizabeth Watson, an orphan of thirteen years of age and a great fortune, without their consent. 1761. The shock of an earthquake felt in Massachusetts and the adjoining states, at half past two in the morning. 1768. Six students of Edmund Hall, Oxford, were expelled the university for Methodism. Their crime was praying, expounding the scriptures and singing psalms. 1772. Montgomery originally Tyrone County, New York, erected. 1775. The Earl of Effingham resigned his command in a regiment order to America. He refused to bear arms against his fellow subjects in the colonies. 1780. The British garrison at Mobile, Captain Durnford, capitulated to the Spaniards under Don Bernardo de Galvez. The garrison consisted of 284 regulars, 54 inhabitants, and 51 armed Indians. 1797. The French under Serrurier crossed the Piaf, having defeated the Austrians who opposed their passage. 1801. 
The British fleet sailed from Abu Akir Bay, Egypt, and the army under Abercrombie, having effected their landing, took up their line of march for Alexandria. 1807. British Order and Council, interdicting all trade between port and port in France. 1809. Gustavus Adolphus IV, King of Sweden, dethroned and the reins of the government assumed by his uncle, the Duke of Sudermania, afterwards Charles D. 13th, by some authorities, March 15th. 1811. The French under Mazzara attacked at Redinha, Portugal, by the Duke of Wellington, and compelled to fall back. 1813. Warren County, New York, erected. 1814. The Allied British and Portuguese, under Marshal Beresford, took possession of Bordeaux in France, in the name of Louis XVIII. 1819. Robert Watt, author of the Bibliotheca Britannica, died. His family were severe sufferers by the failure of Constable and Company, of Edinburgh. 1837. M. De Archbishop of Malins, died at Paris, aged 78. He bore a conspicuous part in the political history of France, was often employed in important missions, and was the author of many political publications. 1843. Littleton Hunt, aged 107, died at Guyanet. Georgia when a soldier of the Revolutionary Army he was severely wounded at the Battle of Utah Springs. 1844. Edward R. Shubrick, a brave and accomplished American naval officer, died on board his ship, the Columbia, off the coast of Brazil, aged 50. 1846. Jonathan Elliott, a well-known newspaper editor and political writer, died at Washington, D.C. 1854. Hugh McPherson died, aged 86, for 61 years professor of Greek at the University of Aberdeen. 1857. Railroad accident on the Great Western Railway in Canada, by which a great number of persons were killed at a bridge over the Desjardins Canal. 1857. John Johnson, an old revolutionary soldier, died in Allegheny Township, Westmoreland County, Pennsylvania, aged 103. He served in the Continental Army during the whole of the Revolutionary War, fought at the Battles of the White Plains, Trenton, Princeton, Brandywine, Germantown, Monmouth, Stony Point, Guilford Court, House, and Yorktown where Lord Cornwallis capitulated and surrendered to Jin Washington in all the battles and skirmishes of Jen Anthony Wayne. And at the storming of Stony Point by Wayne, he formed one of the forlorn hope. <laughs>